I need to clean up around this hairline because you can see the spray left a little bit of cast, but where's the lace though? Once we get rid of this cast, where is the lace? This looks so good. So we're gonna jump straight into it. I normally do a voiceover, but I kind of wanted to do something different. Y'all comment and let me know what you think about this style as opposed to the voiceover. This wig comes in a bunch of different colors. I'm looking on Ebony Line's website right now, and it is in stock. Um, this is 22 inches long. It is heat safe up to 400 degrees. A lot of people have reviewed this. A lot of people have made this wig look absolutely beautiful. And I just, I, I couldn't wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her out the box. This is the stock card right here. So already, you know she is serving. And this is a maple brown color. I'm not doing that. We are just doing a natural color. And like I said, this is 13 by six and it does come with lace all the way around, which I think is new for synthetic wigs, y'all. This is new to me. So correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody watching is familiar with the wigs, with synthetic wigs. But this is, let me back up. She long, I can't even fit her all in the clip. I might need to switch lenses, but yes. Absolutely gorgeous. And then this is what I'm talking about. So why, I'm gonna have to put it on my wig head to cut this lace off, but why can we get a hairline that looks like this from a synthetic company, but these human hair companies are telling us their wigs are pre-plucked and they're not? Or is this just Outre doing the damn thing? I don't know. This is the inside, 13 by six, so deep parting space. There are two combs on the side here. There's one comb in the back and then your adjustable strap. So let's see how she fits. I'm not putting her on. I just wanna put her on my head so we can get an idea. But I'm gonna do my wig grip because this is what I normally do when I do reviews. So I just wanna show you guys, there is lace all the way around this. And the lace in the back is a lot softer than the lace in the front. A lot, it stretches, this does not stretch. But look at that plucking. I you can see it through there. I'm so confused. I'm gonna cut off the back. I'm gonna put it on my head so you guys can see how it looks. And then I feel like I don't even, I don't think that I'll need to do any more plucking around the hairline, but we'll see, cause I've seen reviews where people do, but it's just their preference. But with having the lace all the way around like this, you can wear this in a ponytail. I don't know that I would have the guts to do that because I don't know what the back would be looking like. But if you get it installed and get somebody to help you, you could probably make it look good. Put this cap. I did put the adjustable straps as tight as they will go. There's a lot of lace on here. So I feel like I'm coming up close so you guys can see like my hairline here is gonna show a little bit, but I'm gonna try to get that out of the way. And then I don't think this is gonna cover my ear tabs. Not my ear tabs, but my sideburns. I don't think these ear tabs will, but I'll try to cut them to see. But right off the bat, brush it a little bit. This hair feels soft, but it doesn't feel like silky. It just feels like a light yakky texture, which is my favorite. And as you can see, this is the length. It has layers, but this comes down pretty far on me and I'm about 5'4". So that is what it looks like right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this lace cut off, get her installed and let y'all see what she looks like.
I needed a minute because these sides were just not working for me. I guess I got a big head. <laughs> not I guess, I know. And so I had to cut off a good bit of the ear tab and then I just blended the hair in with my hair, which that's the first time I have ever tried that and that worked. You still see a little bit right here, but I'll just cover that with the hair. So then that way I can actually like wear this behind my ear and see, I probably need to cut off a little bit more, but you see, this is just, this was not gonna cover my ear right. So I could also probably spray it with some of my hair dye and just keep it moving or color it in with a pencil, which I have seen, is that your hair do? Um, is that your hair is the name of her channel. I've seen her do that with stuff where the lace was too light or she needed to color something in. So could do that as well. But right now I'm just brushing the hair out and brushing out all the hair that I cut off because I cut the ear tabs on both sides. So you can see on this side, once I get the spray out, this side looks a lot better. And I probably should try to pull a little bit of my hair out from under my wig grip, but y'all get the gist. Could easily spray some spray, slick that down. Got a little bit of crusties, but I will get that out. But yeah, I need to clean up around this hairline because you can see the spray left a little bit of cast, but where's the lace though? Once we get rid of this cast, where is the lace? This looks so good and it's synthetic. So I've been spending all my money on human hair wigs thinking that's what I needed. And here comes Outre with a synthetic wig. I do, I'm trying to figure out where everybody's been getting all this volume though. I'm looking at a video right now where this lady has like big poof in the front and I'm like, well, where's mine? So I need to figure that out. But yeah, 13 by six. Let me show y'all this part in space if I can find my comb. So we can part here, which maybe if I do that, get some of my volume back. There we go. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna put a little bit more powder here just to kind of Darken up, you see a little bit of a cast, but that's what I'm talking about. We just gonna do a quick little flip over. Maybe flatten this back here just a tiny, tiny bit. Cause I want like big bombshell hair with this. This just is giving me, and it has layers. Y'all, this wig is so pretty. Let me speed through getting this last little bit done and I will show you guys the final look. All right guys, full disclosure, because I want to tell the truth. I have watched other reviews of this wig and I feel like watching other reviews, hold on fixing my mirror, that it came with a lot more body than mine did. I tried to add a little bit of curl to this side and some dry shampoo and it kind of helped, but my ends keep snagging. I've sprayed some of the um, Simply Styling spray just to help trying to get it to where like I feel good enough to just let it sit. There we go. But this side is not cooperating and I tried to curl it and for whatever reason it straightened. So maybe I curled the wrong direction this piece in the front but I don't want to keep putting heat on it because I, it says heat safe up to 400 degrees but I just I don't want to keep fooling with it because it's getting late I'm getting tired <laughs> I've been messing with this for a little minute so I tried to give this side a little more volume at the root and it is just not happening so I guess I had to sacrifice. I wanted volume on the flip side and I got that, but then this side is flat. I have some dry shampoo and I'm kind of just trying to spray it and give it some oomph at the roots, but I don't know. I saw all these reviews and it was like big, big hair and 
lots of volume and lots of waves and I don't know why mine didn't come like that. So y'all let me know, is this normal for, I guess maybe it is, synthetic wigs. I like that they come curly and you usually don't have to do much to them, but I feel like I've been doing a lot to this one. So y'all let me know if you've tried this wig. Did yours come really curly? Did it come straighter like mine? I mean, I still think it's pretty, but I'm just like, I don't want to have to keep doing stuff to it. So I'd probably just put this side behind my ear to not have to worry about it. I just don't think that looks good with a style that is this long. This side, maybe I need to cut some layers in it. That might be it. I don't like, I don't like cutting. That is not my thing, but I like the wig. I like the style of it. It is probably looking tangled as hell back here right now because I've been fooling with the front so much. So I'm gonna try to brush that out real quick and let y'all see how long it is. But this is definitely down to the middle of my back. Hopefully, I can't even, I don't know what I'm showing y'all right now, but yeah, this is long. And this is the side here, probably. So it's pretty. I just don't know why mine is not as big and curly as other ones that I've seen. This is my first synthetic wig video. There are going to be more because I have a lot of wigs. I've been buying them because I've been curious. And I mean, so far, this is not like this is a bad experience or anything like that. It's definitely not. It's just I saw a lot of hype around this wig and I had an expectation of it being a lot bigger than what it is. So I don't know. I guess maybe mine sat in the pack too long. I don't know. Y'all comment below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. I love how the front of it melted. I think all of that looks really good. And she is going to stay on for a little while because I feel like I worked hard for this. So we need to keep her on. But yeah, that is it. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't stop playing with it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. You've seen some of my human hair ones. So how do you think this compares? I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.